In this video, you will learn about an experiment to measure the unknown pressure using a U-tube manometer. U-tube manometer consists of a glass tube bent to a U-shape. Initially, the U-tube is filled with the manometric fluid such that the level of the fluid is same in both the limbs. The manometric fluid in the U-tube can be oil, water or mercury whose density should be known. There are two limbs in the manometer L1 and L2. A graduated scale is fixed between the two limbs. When both the limbs are exposed to same pressure, the fluid level in the two limbs will be equal. Now, let us measure the pressure of the air trapped inside the tube. The limb L1 is open to atmospheric pressure and the limb L2 is connected with the rubber tube. The rubber tube consists of a clip to make it airtight after the air is blown through it. The pressure of the air in L2 is now greater than the pressure in L1. Now, the fluid in the U-tube is displaced to a new position. The difference between the two readings will give height of the fluid level in the tube. The formula for calculating the pressure of air trapped inside the tube is given by P is equal to H rho G. On substituting the corresponding values in the above formula, we get the pressure value. Let us now measure the pressure of water column. The limb L2 is connected with the rubber tube. The end of the tube consists of a funnel closed with the rubber sheet. This tube is then inserted into beaker of water whose pressure is to be measured. The rubber tube with the funnel is pressed down so that the pressure is induced through the rubber sheet to the tube. Now the manometric level in L1 rises and simultaneously the level in L2 falls down. The difference between the readings on the graduated scale is the height h. The pressure of the water column can be calculated by using formula P is equal to H rho G. Thus, you have learnt about the pressure measurement using a U-tube manometer.